Welcome back. Today, we're making this trash can cabinet. Hey guys, I'm Juan from Castor Woodworks. So I needed an outdoor uh, cabinet to hold some trash cans. So I came up with this design. In this video, I'm focused on showing you how to make the cabinet and the frame. In the next video, I'm going to use a lock miter bit to show you how I made these corners. The next video after that is going to be how I made the doors. And then finally, I'm going to show you guys how I like to stain and finish my outdoor uh, projects. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. I will start by breaking down my plywood using my track saw. I'm going to include some free plans for this on the Build Something website. And I'll include a link on the description, so uh, stay tuned for that. I use this awesome track saw square from Stevens Woodwork to make sure I get a good square cut before moving on to the table saw. Once I'm on the table saw, I trim all my pieces to width. Make sure not to move your fence so that all your cuts are the same once you're finished. Once I have all my pieces cut, I take my cabinet sides and throw them on the Craig Foreman and make pocket holes. I like to space them out about 6 to 8 inches apart. Now it's time to assemble the carcass. I use my Rockler corner clamping jigs to make sure that all my corners are square during assembly. You don't have to have these to assemble these cabinets, but it just makes things a lot easier. Rockler also has these clips that go on top of your cabinet to make sure all the sides are held in place. I'm going to be including links to all these products so you guys can check them out. Once I have my sides nice and square, I use my jet clamps to hold everything in place while I drive in some screws. You don't need to have the clamps either, but they hold everything together so that the sides don't bow out. Before moving on, I decided to put everything together and make sure that the hardware was going to fit. I decided not to bore you with all the little details, so just follow the directions, they're pretty straightforward. I dropped them both in place and looks like we're good to go. The last step when it comes to the carcass is to add two structures, one in the front and one in the back. Since I'm going with granite on top, this will help support the weight and square up the cabinet a little bit. Now that the cabinet carcass is done, we can focus on the next part of the build, which is to make the, the frame of the cabinet, which is this. So to make this, it's basically just my two styles and then my rail that goes at the bottom and in between are my panels, which are cedar planking. So all I did is I made these corner pieces using the lock miter bit and I made a groove down the middle of the, of the style. And the groove accepts this quarter inch planking. That's basically what I'm doing. I threw my groove bit on my router table and I started passing each of the corner pieces so that both sides would have a half inch groove down the middle. Once all my grooves are cut, I took all my rails 
and I started making the tongues. So I set up my tongue cutting bit and I used my coping sled to uh, run it through a couple times. You flip it over, put it right back in, and then do the other side and you should be good to go. All right, let's see where we're at. So, got our tongue. And we're good to go. So now we can do the rest of these rails, do all our tongues, and uh, get ready for glue up. All right, it's time to glue this thing up. So I added some wood glue to my tongues on my rails and then I attached it to the center pieces. And then I slid down each of the center panels one by one until I got to the top and put the top rail on and I was good to go. I also checked for squareness at the end and clamped it up and wiped down any of the extra wood glue so it would be easier to clean up at the end. I followed the same steps on the back side of the cabinet. And then I flipped it over and dropped it into place. All right. So quick update, I just dropped in the frame, uh, I screwed it in from the sides to make sure it doesn't move, and I also put in um, the pull-out mechanism here, so you can see that it's going to fit. The next step is to make the doors. I'm actually not going to do that in this video, I'm going to do that in another video, but it's just to, to show you where we're at. So it's going to have two doors, and they're going to have a half inch overlay all the way around. And then once I finish making the doors, we're gonna come back here and install them, install these, and uh, wrap this thing up. All right, so here's a quick overview of where we're at. I went ahead and installed this door. I used this tape here to mark off where I want the edges of the door to be. And I just mark it off and then I line it up. I'll show you how I did that, but basically, this is what it's gonna look like. And Reva Shelf gives you one of these templates now you put that in the bottom of the cabinet and it helps you line up where your uh, rails are going to be. So basically just drop it in, line up the rails, drill your screws, and attach the door. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that. Okay, so next thing I do here, put a little bit of tape, the, uh, the face frame, once it's ready to go. I'm gonna lay the door on top, like that. I got my spacing here, I got my spacing down there. I got all my spacing all around. Then I'm gonna clamp it down push the rails forward so that it makes contact with the face frames, screw it in from the back and I'm done. All right, the second door is mounted. This thing is ready to go. The next step is to sand this thing down and finish it, uh, spray it with two coats of poly. Um, like I said uh, earlier in the video, this is a uh, multiple part series uh, where I show you how to do all these parts. I show you how to make the cabinet, show you how to make the doors. I show you how to make the corners using the lock liner bit. So in the last video, uh, I'm going to show you how I install the hardware and also how I install these casters that are going to go on the bottom so that this thing can roll around. And for the top, I forgot to mention it's going to be a granite top. I already have that cut out and everything. I just have to put it on top. Um, so that wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, and share it. Also, 
I will have free plans for this, so stay tuned for those. I'll include those in the description. I'll also include all the links of, for all the stuff that I use. So thank you guys so much. Stay tuned.